I'm Chair. Mr. Secretary, a woman with the initials JIL was severely beaten in front of her family by a gang in El Salvador. At the border, she came, um, left with her two young children, and at the border, they were ripped out of her arms. She was seeking asylum in the United States. She, uh, the mother, and the two children were all crying and scared. Now, those two children are now among the increased number of minors that are placed in your department's custody following the administration's appalling decision to separate children uh, from their parents at the border. So, um, Mr. Secretary, I'm a mother. I know you're a father. Many of us in this room are parents. Your website uh, on the Office of Refugee Resettlement states its primary consideration is in the best interest of the children. Is the policy of separating children from their parents in the best interest of those children? So uh, individual children are separated from their parents only when those parents cross the border illegally and are arrested. We can't have children with parents who are in incarceration and so then they're given to me. If, if one presents at an actual border crossing and presents a case to come into this country, one is not arrested and one's children are not separated from them. So the best advice I have is actually present yourself at a legal border crossing and make your case. Cross illegally and get arrested and your children will be given to us. That's, that's, that's the simple fact, I'm afraid. It's not a desire. Nobody has a desire to separate children from their parents. I certainly don't. We will take as best care of them as humanly possible when entrusted with them. But well, well let me ask you about that. I know crossing. we have limited time because there's been a large influx of additional children in your department's custody. Does your department have the adequate resources there to fulfill their safety, health, and welfare needs? Does every child have a suitable shelter, um, medical care, other basic services? I know my senator, was uh, Senator Merkley, was just down in Texas and said it looks like a lot of these kids are in what look like cages. Oh, that's actually completely incorrect, and he actually didn't see the children because he requested at 4 p.m. on a Friday to go visit either in Texas or, or in California a facility. These are minors. These are grantees running a program. We accommodate requests from Congress constantly to go inspect and look at our facilities. These children are provided full education, medical care, dental, vision. Um, uh, they're provided athletics, meals. Well, tell me so. how you're going to ensure the proper oversight of the conditions in which these children are kept and what steps are you taking if there are deficiencies found? Well, we're under a court consent decree called the Flores case that actually mandates conditions there. And so we work, we work diligently. I mean, it is a major part of our department to work and ensure complete compliance with the court's consent decree there. To, we take quite seriously our obligation to, the, to take care of these children very well. Well, I'm joined the millions of people across this country who are appalled at the policy of ripping children away from their parents. It's, I, I'm very concerned about it, and I, I hope that you, as an advisor to the president, will take that message from the people around this country. Thank you.